Hey guys, today we're starting with the skill 66 and then moving into a half press. After my last skill 66 video, I asked you to weigh in with what strategy I should switch to. 41% of you suggested the half press, and here it is. This simulation run had a one in a million roll that won so much money I still can't believe it. Stay tuned to the end. I'll show you how you can watch that monster roll for yourself. But first, let's review the strategy. The skill 66 strategy is designed to get you to a profit within two hits. Then you're free to move to any strategy of your choosing. First, you wait for a point to be established. This strategy is not based around the point number. So if you want to shoot the dice, you'll also have to add a line bet but I won't be simulating that today. Then you'll place 66 inside. That's $15 each on the five and nine and $18 each on the six and eight. After the first hit, use the profit plus another dollar from the rack to press to $88 inside. After the second hit, regress down to $44 inside. Now you're out of hand and for each additional hit, increase the existing bet by 50% while keeping the bets proper. Let's run through a demonstration. Okay, the point is nine, so we'll get set up. There's the first hit, so we're gonna press to $88 inside. Notice at this point, the bankroll is down $67. That's the most we'll be down for any single shooter. That eight is the second hit. So it's time to regress down. And the nine hits, that's also the point. So the simulation is gonna wait for another point before pressing it up. The new point is four, so now we'll press the nine up to 15. That's 50% uh, over the $10 that we started with. And it wins right away. This time we'll press it up to $25. And it's time to start the progression on the six. Nine hits again, that's treating us well. There's the six again. And the five goes up to $15. And there's the seven out. Uh, we did make $71 in profit on that shooter. Another shoot has come out and looking for a point. And that point is going to be 10. And we make our first hit, so time to go to $88 across. Excuse me, $88 inside. And there's a quick seven out. Those uh, quick seven outs are really brutal for this strategy as with a lot of strategies. So that was just two shooters. Now I'm gonna simulate a million shooters, which is 100,000 sessions of 10 shooters each. Let's see what happens. Okay, we simulated eight and a half million throws of the dice, which is 85 throws per session, which is also 8.5 throws per shooter on average. There was $133 million bet, with 72 million won by the players, and 75 million won by the casino. 
That's an overall house take of $3.4 million, and that's a house edge of 2.553%. Now, where does that house edge fit in? We're making basically two different types of bets. The place six and eight, which has an edge of 1.52%, and the place five and nine, which have an edge of exactly 4%. Our simulation shows this strategy right between these two, and just a tad closer to the six and eight, because there's slightly higher dollar amounts that we make on those bets to keep them proper. Here are some of the other craps bets to help put this into perspective. Let's see how our simulated players did. First, we'll look at the data by shooter. Of the million shooters, a majority, 56.2%, ended having won some money. 43.8% lost money. Now, this is not a surprise given my previous videos on the skill 66, but what is surprising is the amount won and lost. Look at this. The left box is 43.8%. That's what we saw in the previous chart. These players lost either 66 or $67. In fact, the most lost was $67 for any single shooter. If I total all this up, it's just over 99%. So where's that 0.9%? Well, to see those, I'm going to have to zoom way out. This strategy has a very, very long tail. And I mean long. At this level, those short bars are each exactly one in a million. Look at this one all the way over to the right. That's the win for a simulated player using this strategy over a single shooter. That's an 86 throw monster roll that went right up to the table maximum. It's really something to watch. Subscribers get access to watch replays of the best and worst sessions from all my simulations. You can subscribe on Patreon or right here on YouTube. Either way, you'll be helping the channel and making sure that I can keep making these videos for you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, on to the per session results. Now the proportions flip. Only about 36% of the 10 shooter sessions won money or broke even, while 64% lost money. Let's see how much they won or lost. The most lost was $667. Those sessions basically never got out of the skill 66 strategy. The most won was that player with the monster roll we saw earlier. Here's the histogram. The bins here are $100 wide. Almost a third of the sessions ended between plus and minus $100. 60% were within $200 of their original bankroll. Over 95% never won or lost more than $500. This is a chart of the player's bankrolls at their worst during the session. Let's look at the report card. We simulated 100,000 sessions of 10 shooters each. The overall house edge was 
35% of the sessions ended with the player winning money, while almost 64% lost money. The middle 50% of outcomes ranged between a loss of $213 to a win of $78. The middle 90% of outcomes ranged from a loss of $380 to a win of $423. And players with a bankroll of $515 survived 10 shooters in 99% of the sessions. I hope you found this interesting. Compare this strategy to the skill 66 baseline strategy where I took down all the bets after the second hit. As always, thanks for watching and good luck at the tables.